one of the defining features of the chordates is a post-anal tail a tail region which does not contain an intestine and therefore does not function in digestion but rather possesses skeletal and muscular elements and can be used for propulsion. The same genes are used to establish the tail in chordates and mutations in similar genes can cause the absence of a tail in both primitive invertebrate chordates and vertebrates such as cats. In fish, given that the tail's function was primarily for propulsion, different lineages of fish have thus modified the tail for different styles of swimming. The earliest amphibians retained the bony dermal rods in their tail that their fish ancestors used for propulsion in water. This meant that early amphibians probably spent a great deal of time in water since this would poorly adapt them to life on land. Later amphibians would modify their tails and some would retain long tails such as the salamanders, while the ancestors of frogs at, like Triodopatracus reduced the size of the tail and modern frogs lack a tail. Among reptiles, certain lineages have reduced or lost their tails. For example, in the flying pterosaurs, the early rampharynchoids had longer tails, while the later pterodactyloids had shorter tails. Some reptiles modified the tail for new forms of locomotion. For example, the ancestors of dinosaurs evolved bipedal locomotion in which the vertebral column was held horizontally and so thus the tail was needed to be a counterbalance and therefore typically did not touch the ground. Many lineages have incorporated dermal bone associated with the tail to provide protective armor or weaponry. Some early turtles possessed additional bones in their tails. The earliest armored dinosaurs possessed longer tails, perhaps suggesting that it was used as a weapon, and some later lineages could add spikes in the stegosaurs or bony clubs in the ankylosaurs. Diplodocus had an exceptionally long tail, with as many as 70 or 80 vertebrae, and perhaps could use it in a whip-like fashion. While the early birds possessed a long reptilian tail like their dinosaur ancestors, this was reduced early in the bird lineage, forming the clade Pigostylia. The, uh, the tail then consists of a pigostyle, which is fused tail vertebrae, as observed in modern birds. In the mammal lineage, as pelicosaurs evolved into therapsids, which evolved into cynodonts, there was an overall reduction in the ancestral reptilian tail. And while many mammals still possess a prominent tail, such as the platypus, or the early artiodactyl ancestors, the condylarths, many lineages have undergone a reduction in the size of their tails. Some lineages of modern mammals would modify their tails more than others. So for example, modern whales have evolved a swimming fluke from their uh, ancestral uh, forms which walked on land and giant armadillos could have included a bony club at the tips of their tails. While ancestral primates possessed long tails to help them balance, and New World monkeys can actually possess prehensile tails, which can grab branches and allow them to hang, apes had to modify their tails so that they could spend more time upright whether climbing vertically, hanging uh, in an upright fashion, or eventually in the human lineage, walking upright. When upright, there is no support for the urinary and reproductive uh, structures in the pelvis. And so apes modified the tail so that there is no longer an external tail. 
and the tail vertebrae form a fused bone known as the coccyx, and the muscles which once moved the tail form a pelvic sling to support urinary and reproductive structures.